morning. We have been up since 5.30 this morning getting ready to leave because it's time. It was fun here in Fort Bragg, but I want to get further south, so does Teal. We're all anxious to start sailing again. And, you we're, know. We're tired of the fog. <laughs> we're tired of the fog, yes. We are very tired of the fog, but it was really nice here. We really enjoyed our time. And the day that we're leaving just happens to be opening season of salmon fishing. So that is um, it's a lot of traffic out here right now with little boats, small boats, charter boats. It'll be fun. Yeah, it should be fun. So we have a 90 mile trip uh, for today. And we hope, we hope that it's gonna be in daylight hours, but it's okay. We're heading to Bodega Bay, should be fun. <sighs> So excited to be back out on the water. Conditions. conditions are looking good. Yeah. Sea state's yeah. good. Should be light wind again, but picking up in the afternoon. But I plan on us hoisting both sails out. And take advantage and of it. Take advantage of it. There's only one more point that we have to get around. That's Point Arena. Yep. And then after that, we're in the clear. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> I'm always ready. <laughs> River, but we catch nothing but kelp. So we were trying to fish out here in the entrance to the Noyo River, and look at this <laughs> just kelp covering the entire entrance. It's crazy, it's a little lumpy out here. Let's go inside a little. Okay, so we're putting a hand line and two poles in the water because I gotta catch a fish. You better. You guys know that I love fresh seafood more than anything. And after Emma caught that black rockfish in Crescent City, I've been hooked. So they have been trying. Teal and her have been putting out lines every single time we're under passage. And they've been skunked every single time. They have not yet pulled a tuna in. And when we were in Humboldt Bay, Emma tried her darndest. I mean, she got up first thing in the morning and she would go for live bait so then they can go and, and catch some California halibut in the bay. We're gonna go catch a California halibut. We have been fishing for two whole hours and, oh. Oh man. <laughs> Even if we don't catch anything, we're still having a lot of fun, but I still hope we catch something. But, you know, she got a couple nibbles, and she fought for some, but they just never landed. So on this passage, since we didn't get any fish, we noticed that there was a tuna fish that was right behind us. So obviously I had to go out there and check to see what they had. And they had fresh albacore tuna. There is nothing better than that along this coast. Okay, thanks for the fish, guys. All right, right well, FB Defiance, baby. <laughs> Take care. Thanks. And it, it looked like, for us, it just didn't work out because we were just 10, 15 miles offshore. And these guys said that they were catching them between 40 and 70 miles offshore. So I'm, I don't care because we got some fish and if we can't catch it, it's nice to support the local fishermen. And bonus, while the guys were filleting our tuna, the seals and sea lions were putting on quite a show for us.
for today, we're just going to do a quick, easy sear on the tuna. And then I'm going to use all the remnants to make a little poke salad on the side. And we're just going to grill some romaine and put an Asian dressing on it. Okay, this looks delicious. Let's dig in, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Try the tuna. Man, this looks amazing. I really gotta, like, catch one of these. <laughs> you better. Oh my god, it's so fresh. I am so excited. I can smell bacon right now, and yeah. <laughs> Constantly cooking for this crew. Woohoo! Bacon and eggs. Well, we've been searching for that wind all morning. Hasn't shown up yet, but we're just drifting along. Uh, not making any speed records today, but we're getting there. We're off of uh, Point Arena right now. So we're about 35, 37 miles into this trip and about 55 miles to go. Looks like we'll hit Bodega Bay at about 10, 11 o'clock tonight, unless this wind picks up. So we're hoping for. Finally, we're getting some sunshine so that we can do some exploring and not be socked in fog. <laughs> Thought it'd be fun to take about a two mile walk down to Hare Beach and have a picnic. You ready, Em? Yeah. Meanwhile, Emma's still picking blackberries along the way. trying to scout out a warmer spot. <laughs> Freezing here. Don't be fooled. It's sunny, but it's still cold. Hey guys, lunch is ready. Here's to a beautiful day, a gorgeous passage, and our own private beach. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh. It was exhausting relaxing at the beach. I know, it's so <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> so much setup, breakdown. The sun, the wind. Let's get back to the boat and relax. <laughs> so it was nice as soon as we uh, got around Arena here, the wind picked up. We have about 10 to 12 knots of wind, and we're doing about a little over six knots. So this is much more comfortable. Still not gonna make it before dark, it looks like, but that happens.
okay, we came in late last night, landed in Bodega Bay around, well, it was exactly 10 o'clock. Had a full moon. It was actually a, we had a nice run. Just like the last couple runs we've had, it's been light and variable winds for the first half of the day. And then as soon as we hit a cape or a point and, and head around it, the winds pick up in the afternoon. We were hitting 15 to 25 knots of wind for the second half of the day. And it was a, it was a speed run for us. We made some good time. We were averaging after point arena about seven plus knots. We actually tapped deep into the tens a few times. So it was exciting. We did have a little incident though. You know, we had to motor sail the first half of the day and we developed a little vibration in the port engine. So we shut that engine down and just right as we were shutting it down, the wind was picking up, so it was no big deal. I went down there about an hour later and the water pump had blown a bearing. So water came in Luckily, we shut it down fast enough. So we ended up sailing all the way into the bay last night. We didn't go in inside the harbor here. The breakwater's right over here. We sailed right into this beautiful anchorage, dropped a hook. There was probably 25 fishing boats, maybe a few more here that we were anchored all around. They've all since uh, picked up and they're heading out. A little foggy this morning, but it's supposed to clear off. I'm gonna change out the water pump this morning, then we'll head in to the harbor. I will do that all before noon. It's supposed to be a bit blustery again this afternoon, so it'd be nice to get all that done as, as fast as I can. But here we are, a little further south. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. I don't know why, but I love to snack while we're underway. I still haven't caught my tuna yet, but I'm going to keep trying. We're almost to the San Francisco Bay Area and we can already smell the smoke from the wildfires. If you like this video, please remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. These videos are made possible by our awesome patrons, so thank you. Come back next week to see another awesome video by SV Basic. See you then!